<laughs> Last time I did that, they got their ass whooped. So, I had to yeah, back. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the hell up there. Yeah. Uh, Detroit Lions versus the Chargers. Um, this is going to be just a half unit bet here. Um, I just talked about how Tampa Bay is the second worst team um, against the pass. Guess who's the first? Chargers. The LA Chargers are the worst team in the league against the pass. And guess what Detroit does well? They throw the ball. So I like the over here of over 48 and a half. I like it. This is a half unit bet because I think there's some value here. I think there's going to be some points scored in this game. I do like, I do lean, and I do like the Detroit Lions in this game. We've seen it against the Rams, and we've seen it against the Chargers. That uh, fan base, that uh, the fans that are there is a 50-50 split. Detroit is going to feel right at home playing in, uh, in the Chargers in L.A. There's going to be a lot of Detroit fans there. We saw it. We've seen it every game. They have no home field advantage. This is a bad line. Um, man, maybe not too bad, but I think it's a it's a bad line here. Give me Detroit. And when Amon St. Brown comes out, when the prop comes out, bet him to have over 100 yards. And that will be another two-unit play on that 100-yard prop. I'm telling you. Uh. They're, you know, they're going to throw all over um, the Chargers. They're going to throw all over the Chargers. And I'm on just – it don't matter if he's sick. don't matter if he's hurt. That boy be eating. Like, he be, he be cooking. I'm surprised he don't got more yardage, to be real with you. He's got – he's had three he, – he, and the, here's – listen, look into his numbers. He's had 108, 102, 124, 56, 102, 102, and 71. He's uh, had 100 yards. He's that dude. Five out of the last six games. Now we bring the tar. We've got to go to the Chargers where they can't. They can't catch anything. Can't catch a cold. Come on, man. Come on, man. I like that. Yeah. So, so one thing about the Chargers, though, they have gotten better over the past few weeks defensively. So just be mindful of that. Um, like I said, I think I think they're still weak defensively, but I think they've gotten stronger as a as a unit. I don't think they've they've allowed over like I want to say. Let me just take a, a double look, but I think it was like over like 16, 17 points over the past four games. They haven't given up anything like That's that fine. over sixteen or fifteen. He he's matchup proof. That I mean, it just this tells me that out of how many games they played. Eight? Yeah, so 6, 13, 17, 17, 17. One, That's two, over the last three, five weeks. So they have tightened up. Um, out of seven and, games, he's he hasn't gotten over 100 yards, too. Well, I like he's that play. Good. I think I think he's his guy. I think Amon St. Brown is his guy. I'll just say yeah. that they have. Are you talking about, are you talking about the, the over? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the, yeah. I'm talking about the defense yeah, okay. itself. Yeah. Right? They played the Cowboys, held the Cowboys to to tw- Okay. 20. Um, Chiefs did go crazy on them, 31 points, but then they held the Bears 13, just a six, which is, which as they should. But I yeah, mean, I mean, I like, I like Detroit straight up, to be honest. They should you. go, I, they should go crazy. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, and then coming off a bye, too, right? Mm-hmm. They're coming off their bye. They got a little healthy. Montgomery's back. I like Detroit uh, straight up as well. Um, I might put them in a, in a teaser, but um, yeah, give me, give me all my St. Brown, man. I like it. I like it. If you're seeing this video right now, that means you made it to the end. So congratulations. You are now almost officially part of the money team. How do you become a part of the money team? If you're new to the channel, you have to hit the subscribe button. We want to blow this brand up. It's not me versus you or us versus them. It's us versus the sports book. Us versus the bookman, aka the boogeyman. So make sure you're on the winning side and the winning team. I got bonus content up here for you guys to choose from. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. This is Moss Money. This is Money Pot. This is Money Pot Betting.